building the I am over there and uh, piggyback got it about half built there's a crane they use to lift the trailers onto the rail cars well I just woke up sorry guys yeah at the time this was the only place available I threw some limbs to kind of hide me back there but I slept about five hours kept thinking somebody was going to come back but yeah that train there is going in the yard and that other one is going east towards Boston where I came from but let me get rolled up yeah that engineer on that train right there I kept thinking he was yelling Mark 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 and I realized he was saying water he dropped a white bag out the engine it's got a crew pack in it crew packs have napkins a little roll of toilet paper some wet naps stuff like that in them and he dropped me boy they've gone shrinky dink on these bottles they used to be well actually they used to be in those little eight ounce aluminum pill bottles but uh wondering who this guy is stopped in the middle of the road but anyway uh that was back in the 80s but now hey how's it going buddy oh Company. How are you, sir? Pretty good. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. I've been watching you for years. Oh, okay. Some All right. No peanuts. I saw your thing. All right. Any peanuts? Appreciate it. I love these things. I know, man. I, I like them cliff more. bars, I'll too. Them are good. Though. I'll get you a bunch, man. All right. Can I get your tag? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> I just saw you. So let, me, let, me, let me turn the camera off and I'll tag oh, that for man. you. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. He gave me a bunch of these chewy granola bars. He said, man, I finally met you. He, he took a couple of selfies with me. He gave me 20 bucks. So, right after that engineer threw that water down. And uh, he had me sign it, tag his logbook. Back of his logbook, he goes, you don't mind tagging shoestring on it well anyway I gotta get down to that store if, uh, if I don't get stopped by fans again anyway yeah look at all them I love them chewy so I can actually chew these let me pour them waters into my big bucket well there's the Burger King I ate it They got an Aldi and another big grocery store right over there. Used to be a big mall complex, but most of the businesses went out of business. Now that Firestone's been closed for years. But if you look back up by the where the city buses stop, you'll see a dozen shopping carts up there people just push out there to catch the bus most of them are broken I tried one of them target ones them target ones are tough but this will work that way I ain't got to carry all that gear I really geared my bucket up with liquids and coffee food 
Yeah, I fell asleep twice. Right there, sitting down eating my food. Fell asleep and had ketchup on the side of my face. Thought, oh, man, I am tired. That trip from Worcester to here to Buffalo was, even though I, got, I was resting on that piggyback that I am, it was still pretty stressing. Kept wondering about every crew change and if I was going to get busted or not, but I've only been busted a few times riding the IM and it really ain't no different. A lot of times they'll, they'll, they'll tell you, well, if you'd have been riding that locomotive, you'd have gone to jail. Then if you're riding the locomotive, they'll tell you, well, if you'd been riding that container, that AM, you'd be going to jail, so. Let me try that reverse psychology. Try that, try to trick you like that. But we're going to go right about where that wooden fence is down there. And wait till about dark. And then go on the other, there's a pond on the other side of that. And there's that box at the end of the wooden fence where I ate my last two whoppers in that other video of mine. They were like two for five bucks back then in the yard just beyond that overpass. Matter of fact, they're switching that train out right there. But just in case, I'm gonna kinda take a tour around this Firestone and see if there might be an entry point. I can just get a good night's sleep inside there. Alright, I'll tr our train will come from the east this way. But here's that box again with all the tags on it. From all the riders. rocket one snowman I know snowman there's my new one I'm gonna start putting dates on them again See now that kind of graffiti, that's not hobo tag there, that's just kids with nothing better to do, gangster kids, or want to be gangster kids, hobo jelly, jellyfish. My first time here ever was in 1990. Back then, I only used a Sharpie, a magic marker. And they wear off in about a year. You can see there's not many on this side because it's quite in view of the yards in the bull. Well, the oh, auto rack's finally leaving. It's been there all day. That's probably that Canadian National 
some of the best gloves I've ever come across you only pay like two or three dollars for them them old garden gloves and I got some new off wipe on pads you don't spray them on the first time I seen these they were Salvation Army was giving them out in St. Paul Minnesota they didn't work that well then, but that was 25 years ago. You just wipe it on you like a wet wipe. Instead of getting it all over, just do your neck and your hands and ankles. Wherever you don't want to get bit. On the ears, the forehead. That way you don't spray it in your eyes. Or your mouth or your nose you get it exactly where you want it then these were like seven dollars but you get like old 21 of them anyway I'm gonna give them a shot the mosquitoes really ain't been that bad see once you squat down no one can see you but Anyway, I'm gonna give that off a shot now. Almost dark. Another 30 minutes I can bust the move and start walking that way. That way when my train comes in, I'll be on the very tail end of it when I get to Cleveland. I won't got that far to walk to get off property. Well, this is the Freddy on the freight train that's going to be going up into Canada. It's got, if it was daytime, you could see this antenna up here. I'll have to show it in daytime again. But if they put these on the very last car of every train. I just happened to come to it and got excited there for a minute. But I'm not going back to no Canada. Uh-uh, no way. Well, I just woke up to this junk train of a junk train. I seen them grainers from about 20 cars off. Thought they had floors, but they don't. So I stood on the porch and looked over into that gondola, but it's still too high to get in. But now this shorter grainer here, or I mean this shorter gondola here, if it were in the place of this one here, I could get on it. It's full of nothing but railroad plates. So it's going out to a maintenance away place. Those are the only two bottomless grainers. The rest are just uh, grainers with not even really a platform to, to sit on. But I, it's been here. I had time enough to roll up and everything. It's been sitting here about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna walk down towards that Sunoco across the overpass down there been here for about 24 hours now waiting on the right train just woke up hadn't even taken my meds yet or my coffee so and i don't see nothing else down that way either 
kind of hard to tell into the sun. But I'm just not as agile as I used to. Yep. That's the one that I crawled up on and uh, looked over into that gondola, but there's just no way I can get across into that gondola even from that little catwalk so i'm gonna get walking and see if maybe there's a grainer up in front of that overpass down there that's about where that sunoco is wouldn't look like much but tankers down there but we'll uh we're up from the pass uh overpass and it does look like he's got a GPU. So he is going to go a little ways anyway. He's got a lot of weight pulling in them, all that steel, all those parts, steel plates and railroad nails and rail ties. I look way up and I see an R box. That yellow box car, but we're on Broadway, and everybody would see me get on. I do see some rides up there. Let's get towards the front. I doubt I'd have time enough to get up there. He's been sitting here since I first woke up and rolled up. He's been here about 35 minutes. He's on Main Two. So he may be waiting on a priority train to pass and it's just well maybe Amtrak he's waiting on to get past him. But I'm gonna go have some coffee. I'm only two more blocks on the left. There's a little convenience store. Yeah, there's Burger King and Tops and Aldi over there. And this is the city bus terminal kind of meetup area. Check all this garbage out. Not my garbage, but look at all of them, that crap. And they're all just full of paper and trash and half of them are chained together I don't know what for it's been this way for years here but that orange one right there I claimed it it rose perfect so I'm gonna roll it so I just bought a bunch of grub to get me all the way to Chicago that's my next trip I gotta go over the over the pass right there so I got a pretty good hoof it so that orange card will help. You believe all that garbage? They won't even spend 10 minutes the city cleaning it up. Well, I'd take longer than 10 minutes to clean all that junk up. You believe that? That's just, I mean, that's, that's unspeakable. You should, they should clean that up. Well, this will work for a couple of miles. At least I ain't got to carry it on my back, and there's no wheel to lock. Now, Tops, T O P S, Tops Supermarket over there has got locks on their front wheels. When you go off their property, the front wheel quit rolling. But I don't even know where Target is around here. And it's right in front of the city buses and everything. That is, it's, that's quite a shame. But lucky for me. Well, we're on top of the rail bridge over the uh, east end of the yard. Yeah, with that orange Home Depot buggy, I had my stuff in. I was just joking about that. It's harder to push your gear in a buggy than it is just to carry it. I wish I'd have caught that engine that was just now sitting down there. So I gotta go all the way up to about that.
second or third electrical box that way I can catch out butt into the tram well my old spot hadn't quite grown up yet you can kind of walk across this dam here this is a wobbly one that you it used to be a railroad tie here. I don't know who replaced it with this flimsy little wiggly one, but if I end up falling in, just getting across this one. Woo, man. But, makes a good camp spot right here. Just lay out right on this concrete. Get back to the gear. Don't want to make too much of a trail. That way it don't look like somebody's been back here. See, you can't even tell. So, I'll get my flashlight out later and go on back there and just Wait for a train to come and then walk out there. I have a feeling it's going to be tonight. There's only been one jump train at 7 a.m. Had I been known I was going to be waiting this long, I would have just went ahead and got on that gondola, whether I liked it or not. But, yeah, that Firestone place is obviously open. It was closed last time I was here. All right, I'm on one of them deep wells. As long as you stay laid down, you're hidden. The crew came and hurry up. I gotta get my coat on, I know that. Yeah, I'm hitting really good. Kinda under all these pipes. I don't know how in the hell I got under here. up a little bit better. Ain't got much room to sit up. Water hook bottle's got a hole in it. Amazon Prime containers. There's the old bison yard.
bit. Not supposed to rain. But I spin underneath there pretty well. the daylight until tomorrow. Might be around Toledo or Elkhart by morning. gear down there in my bucket. We'll see y'all tomorrow.
Elkhart, South Bend, Indiana.
time to try to get off. God, stop. I had to bail off. I bailed off here before. At least I didn't wind up in that I am yard. Hey. 
So I should have just waited. I wouldn't have lost everything. Well, I need to charge my phone anyway, so everything's laid out everywhere. I'm wondering if that kid got on. There was a kid about 50 cars back from me waiting on a train too. Oh, thank God. Holy crap. Man, talk about nervous. Because if I would have went in that IIM yard, they would have known me right off the bat. And I would have, oh, I, I, I sure don't want to go to Cook County Jail. I don't care for how long. Let me get this up, get my phone charged up, or hooked up to the charger. I'll be back with you. Yeah, I am in the worst part of Chicago you can ever imagine. I got off. I got to hightail it out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to hightail it to that four main road up here. That way it'll be a little bit safer. I am in the slummest of slums of Chicago. But I couldn't help it. I didn't want to end up in that IM yard, so I had to hop off my first chance. So I'm going to make my way to that main road now. It feels good to go behind Dollar Store or Walmart or whatever. Oh, soap in my eyes and uh, wash up, get all cleaned up. Just takes two gallons of water. Get some baby wipes for your naughty bits, some fresh deodorant, and it only took a half gallon to wet down, and it'll take about a gallon to rinse off. And I just use that cheap VO5, because I mean, that's all you're needing, just that cheap stuff. But anyway, ho, 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 you think I'll pass for Santa? I'll pass for fresher, I know that. Whoa, nothing feels better than getting cleaned up. Oh man, you wouldn't believe the filth and dirt come out. I took a full body, took two packs of baby wipes from head to toe and shampoo down. I want to appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I can't believe it only took 12 hours to get from Buffalo to Chicago. That, we stopped in uh, Toledo and uh, fueled up. Then we went on to Willard and only was there like three minutes. They must have did crew change on the fly. And then here we are. I got off in a real grubby part of town. So I'm going to make my way over to the Proviso Yard area near Berkeley. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I sure feel better. I even got a new $5 shirt here in this dollar family dollar store. It was like a dollar five for the shampoo and two dollars for the Old Spice deodorant. And I'm a new man. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.